Hello and welcome to a tour of Octopus Deploy 3.12. My name is Rob Pearson. I'm an engineer at Octopus helping to design and ship new features, enhancements and bug fixes. I'll be your tour guide as I walk through our April 2017 release. It's been a great month and we've got lots of new features and updates. First up, we've worked on our user onboarding. That is, we've made it easier to get started with Octopus from download to deployment. We've also added support to update your step templates across all the projects they're a part of. We've added PowerShell debugging support, which is absolute magic at the times when you need it. We've improved performance in a couple key areas. We've improved our substitute variables and files feature. We've added subtle licensing notifications so you know when your license is coming up for expiry. We've also improved our certificate management feature by adding certificate chain support. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the highlights. First up is our getting started process. Now, I have a brand new Octopus instance running on a local VM that we'll use to walk through this. Straight away, you can see our new welcome page. This page describes all the key concepts needed to complete your first automated deployment. If you click on any of the links in a section, this will take you to the appropriate area in Octopus to complete it. If you have any questions at any step at any step of the way, you can click on one of the links at the bottom of each section for more information. And at the very bottom of the page, the button there will always take you to the next step in the process, making it easy to keep moving. Each time you click on a link or button, this will take you to the area where you can complete your next step. Each page explains how it fits into the process of automating your deployments and includes links to learn more. You can also look for a button to add your first thing in each area as well. In this case, it's create your first environment, and I'll just do that now. So most teams and, and companies have a development environment, so I'll just do that and click Save. I'd like to point out the progress bar at the bottom of the screen. It includes buttons to take you to the next step of the process, but more importantly, it shows you the steps you've completed and what's left. At any time, you can click on one of the sections or the Maximize button to see the detailed Getting Started page again. I'll also point out that you can minimize the progress bar if you're an experienced user and then it virtually disappears. Jumping ahead, I've configured my infrastructure, packaged and pushed my application to Octopus, created a project and defined its deployment process to deploy a simple web application. Now I can create a release and deploy it. Once again, similar to the other areas, I can learn more about this step and create my first release. So I'll just enter 1.0 and to the release notes, my first automated deployment. So on this screen, you can see the progress has been updated and I can deploy to development. That has been selected and now I can click deploy now. Completing my first automated deployment has helped me learn how to use Octopus and I'm now better prepared to continue automating the deployment of more applications and services. I'd also like to highlight our new step template update process. I've updated my local VM, or my local Octopus instance, to add three projects, each that have done a deployment to our development environment. I'd also like to highlight that I've added a step template, a very simple one called Greetings, which simply says, hello in the person's name. In the past, if you made updates to a step template, quite often it was problematic to update all the projects. If you look in this case, you can see this step template is used by all three of our projects. If I were to make a change to this step template by adding a parameter, say country, and I don't specify a default value in this case, and if I then go and say 
flow name from country and save that. I can now jump to the use of those tab. And if Octopus can update all the target projects automatically, it will do so. And all you have to do is click the update button. But in this case, you can see there's three steps that need a default value because I didn't supply one. You can see which steps it is, steps that are used, and you can go to each one individually if you want to update manually. Or I could just say uh, provide a default value, click update, and then it's done. Basically, Octopus Now can help you update all the projects that use this step template automatically and if it can't it prompts you to provide the extra information so that it can do it quickly and easily and this was a highly requested feature by our user base and we're happy to now include it so i just want to say thank you for watching the tour um, if you'd like more information head over to octopus.com blog and you can read the blog post about the release and follow the links from there um, yeah, so that's it for this month, and we'll talk to, talk to everyone next month. Thanks.